All right. So going out with your gat without carrying a spare mag is kind of like going out to the bar without carrying a condom on you. You might not ever need it, but if you do, you're very freaking glad that you have it, right? Because you could get seriously burned without it. So the way I look at this, Irish gangster, you ask me if you should be carrying a spare mag with your with your pistol for CCW. So without knowing what kind of pistol you're running or you know whatever. Um, I'm just going to give you a blanket statement. In my humble opinion, yeah, you should probably have a spare mag. If not on your person, well, somewhere close by. Like if you're carrying it in your car, there's no harm in carrying a mag or two or three or five or ten in your car. But if you're going out there and you're trying to be more covert about it and really conceal your weapon, now if you're using a Glock 19, Glock 17, some kind of full-size sidearm like that, right? I get it. I prefer to carry a full-size sidearm. But if you're going out in like mixed company with people who might not be too comfortable with the carrier or whatever, what happens to me a lot, well, maybe you want to go with something more like a little 380, right? And this is, you know, I carry a 380 a lot and I always will carry a spare mag with me with that 380 because it's seven plus one, right? So here's my opinion on this. Now, quick, quick caveat, Irish gangster, I haven't been in a gunfight. So I don't know, but I've trained a lot for them. Here's my thinking of it, right? Let's just say some shit really goes down whatever happens you have to draw down and you have to freaking discharge that firearm well the tendency is okay especially for untrained people but even with trained people adrenaline dump happens oh shit bang 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 bang, bang, bang. all right and you've just emptied your mag what if something happens where a you didn't hit the freaking thing or b like usually happens from what i understand is you hit it but not enough to really neutralize it or even worse you hit it, you don't neutralize it, another threat comes out from your peripheral, and you've already committed to that fight, but now you have nothing but a blunt instrument in your hand. you got to rush them or something, right? So carrying that spare mag can be a very invaluable thing, especially, again, if you're carrying a smaller weapon like a 380 or whatever. Even if you're carrying a revolver, carry one of those, carry one of those little uh, moon clips, and that would probably be a smart idea, right? Even something like a Springfield 1911, what is that, seven or eight plus one, sometimes nine, I guess, uh, I would want a spare mag on me. Now, what I do is I will literally keep, especially if it's a little thing like this, fuck it, I'll keep it in my front pocket here. No one's the wiser. I'll keep it in my side pocket. I don't carry a, a mag paddle on me. I don't carry mag holders because I'm trying to conceal it. If I was running a duty belt, of course, I got a mag holder. I got two mags on me plus the sidearm. But that's my opinion, bro. Um, thanks for the question. I don't know what else to say except carry a fucking spare mag on you. Now, if you are carrying a full size, 15 rounds, plus one, 17 rounds, whatever it may be, you could probably forego the damn extra mag. Um, again, if you need it, you need it. <laughs> but chances are you won't. And chances are you could probably be okay with that 15 round mag. Hope this answered your question. Any of you guys have any extra questions? Plop them in the comments below. If I can't answer it, we've got plenty of tactical experts on here that we can reach out to and have them answer it for you. If you don't want to, for some reason, put it in the comments below, go to fightingsecrets at gmail.com. We're always happy to get back to you as quickly as we can. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. See you in the next video, guys.